Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 15 of my Space 1999 Eagle One Transporter build. So, to begin with, I'm just going to make some alterations to the landing pad as I saw that the corner came out too far, so it had to be brought back a bit. So, without further ado, let's get this show on the road, crank up the speedy uppy thing, let's crack on. So, there it is mashed off. Let's get this sprayed, shall we? And as if by magic, there it is done. Now for a little bit more masking, and we can pop that off and get that sprayed up. And as if by magic, pokey pokey, there it is, done. Hey, I'm getting pretty good at this magic modelling. Right then, let's get this masking tape off and see what we have. Ooh, that's looking good so far, even if I say so myself. Here we go, a quick show and tell. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Now for some touching up of the green, yellow and the red edges. To do the red edges, I've decanted some of the red primer into the lid and I'm just going over the parts as I feel need it. Right, there's all the touching up done for the moment. Now to get all of those fine fiddly lines drawn in. I'm using a ruler and a 0.3mm pen. So, let's crack on. That's all the fiddly lines drawn in. Now to mask off and do some shading. So, let's get this done. This is the area I'm going to be putting the fibre optic cable for the landing lights. And on the back, 
I'll have a battery box and a single 3mm LED glued in place just here that the fibre optics all come into. What I'm doing now is to extend those small circles to the edge of the diorama. So let's crack on and get those done with the airbrush. I also added some squares and did the shading. Now let's add a few more squares and this time do them in black. That's done. Now to make the holes for the fibre optic cables. There will be times when you don't see much, that's because I can't get the camera far enough away to be able to get everything in, so many apologies for that in advance. Next I'm going to be fitting all the fibre cables in. I've used the fibre optics from one of those fibre optic lamps, you know the ones that just spray out. We'll see how that works out, so let's crack on! These are the LEDs I'm using. I got them from Amazon for about six or seven shiny liney pounds. I'm going to be using one of the white ones. Here. I'm starting to get really frustrated. I'm pulling my hair out, wondering why it's not working. Then I thought, hmm, let me check the batteries. Yeah, I'd got one the wrong way. Oh! So, after getting the batteries in the right way, I cracked on. Whoop, whoop, we've got light. There's the fibre optics all glued in. I'm going to pop that to one side and let it dry and using my newly acquired modelling magic I'm going to bring it back all dry and ready to crack on. Pokey holy, there it is, all dry. Now I'm going to strip the wires back on the battery pack, connect the LED, glue it to the board and then finally attach the fibre optic cables over the top of the light, let it dry, hoping that it all works. So, let's spin up the speedy uppy thing and see what happens.
Well, that seems to have worked. So, let's pop that to one side, let it dry, and we can see how it's worked out later on. No use of magic this time. We're getting down to the nitty gritty now, so let's get this Eagle One transporter put together. In double rapid time. There we have the Eagle One transporter, all glued and done. I'm pretty happy with that and what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, this seems like a good place to stop. So please remember, if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel, help it grow, get the message out there to as many models as possible, please. Like the video, ring my bell and remember guys, stay safe, keep on modeling.